Hello and welcome back to the Toronto website developer.com. I am PDORC, the Toronto website developer specializing in Drupal. And in this video tutorial, we're going to continue looking at the Heartbeat activity module uh, to create an activity feed for our site. And what we're going to actually do is I'm going to show you how to remove all the defaults and actually do this from scratch. So a little bit more fine grained controls. And in order to do so, we're going to have to depend upon the rules project. So, or rather module. I don't think I've had this installed previously for other video tutorials. Um, so you might want to go ahead and grab this. Uh, just grab the, at the time of this recording, 7x 2.3. You can copy that. And then again, if you have, I think it's the site uh, manager, or one of the core modules installed, you can go ahead, paste that uh, URL in there uh, and install that. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that you've done that. When I go over to modules, a few things that we have to change from the first video tutorial, um, you'll see I've got module filter, uh, module installed here. So I can just click on heartbeat. And one of the things I've done is I've unchecked the heartbeat defaults because I'm not going to be using those. And then you'll see down at the bottom, this integration module rules for heartbeat activity. You can check that off because we're going to be using that. So once you have those installed, we're going to head back over to structure heartbeat. And the two things that we're going to be looking at are templates and streams really. So I'll just briefly show you what happens to the streams. Uh, once you remove the defaults, you see that you're left with two from the heartbeat, single activity and views activity. So that's okay. And then if you go over to templates, we don't actually have any templates. And so this is what we're going to be setting up. Essentially, your templates are your structure for your messages. And then your streams are kind of your um, different pages where people can go and see all the activity messages themselves. So it's kind of like, think of it as your, your pages for heartbeat. Um, so we need to set up some templates so that we can start recording some messages. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to walk you through how to create these. So you're going to click on add, and then this is going to be a unique ID for this. So I'm just going to say uh, node is added, and I'm pretty sure this doesn't have to be machine language, so we can we can do that. Uh, description of the message. So uh, a user adds a node to the site, right? And so access will allow everyone to see this. We're going to actually control our uh, streams or our messages with views. So this isn't overly important. Um, so I'm not going to really touch anything there. In terms of examples, this is looking, this is going to show us what it might look like um, for a specific message. So you'll see they've got some placeholders here because we're going to be doing that as well. Um, so, you know, the username has updated and then uh, a node title, right? And so for our content, for our single message, this is what we're going to be doing here. So we're just going to say, um, uh, you know, username has added the node and then we'll just put the uh, node title, right? So we're gonna have two placeholders in, in this. Um, and I'll explain this to you in a second because we're gonna use rules to actually fill what these are. Um, and then type of message you can see down here, um, what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna treat all activity instances as standalone messages. Each time somebody adds a, a node, um, you're gonna get a specific message. So it's gonna be a one-off message. So we'll go ahead and leave that as is. And then in terms of attachments, um, we can go ahead and, and add these. And I'll show you this in a little bit later uh, video tutorial. So don't worry about this just yet, but we'll go ahead and save this. And so now we've got this template for notice added, but we don't actually have any triggers or know when this is gonna happen or anything like that. And that's what rules provides us. So um, we enabled the, the rules. Well, we didn't actually enable the rules module. So make sure you go back to the modules and do that. But once you do, you can go down to configuration workflow rules and we'll go ahead to, to that. And we will actually, uh, so we've got a bunch of rules here that are outdated. This is because we removed the, the defaults um, from um, Heartbeat. So don't worry about that. Uh, just ignore those. But what we're going to do is add a new rule. And so we're going to call this um, Heartbeat Activity Record Heartbeat Activity when node is added, right? And we can tag this uh, Heartbeat so that we can easily filter these when we're looking at all of the uh, rules that we have. And so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna react on event. So if you're not familiar with rules, what this means is at certain times, um, certain hooks are fired. So in a module that integrates with rules, you'll see that there's a, you know, a, a line in there for function that it's something like rules invoke something or other. So uh, at different times, these are actually fired. So you'll see like when a comment is viewed, there's a hook that's fired all this kind of stuff. So what we're going to be looking for is um, we want this to be uh, our message to be logged after the content is saved. So what we're going to do here is after saving new content is going to be our event. So 
Content is saved. We're going to record a log message. So we'll go ahead and save that. So we've got our event. And now our condition. We can actually look at a condition here and we can choose whether or not it's of type. We can choose whether or not it's promoted, it's content it's sticky. I'm not going to do any of that. I just wanted to make you aware of that. So if you wanted to do a specific, uh, you know, uh, message for a user adding a product or something along those lines, you can choose content is of type. But again, I'm doing this for all nodes, so that's fine. And now, more importantly, what we're going to do is we're going to add an action. So when I go to add an action, you'll see if I scroll down, I can log an activity for a user adds a node to the site. And so if we had multiple different templates, we could choose those specific templates. But again, for this video tutorial, I'm just going to show you the one so I can click on this. So now we have to add the entity ID. And what this is referring to is, is the ID or the entity that we're, we're acting upon, I guess. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I've got node, uh, node and ID. So I'm just going to copy that, paste that in there because that's what we're working with. The user ID, this is, um, you know, who is logging the message. Um, and so this is actually going to be the, the author. And you'll, you'll read here that for token replacements, you can chain these objects, right? So you'll see that we can find node author, but we can't find node author UID, but it's allowing us to provide that. So again, this is a rules thing. Don't worry too much about this, but I'm just going to copy this because I'm going to paste in that UID. So that's what's going to be provided for the user ID. Um, entity target ID, we're not targeting anything, so we're not going to add anything here. Same as the user, if this were a targeted message to another user, I could add that here, but I'm not doing that. And same as the com comment ID. Um, message ID, just make sure this is checked off to the one that you're specifically using. So in our case, a user adds a node to the site. And then for username, um, we just used uh, the chained UID, but what I want is the, the node author. And then for node title, I'm just going to go into replacement patterns, and you'll see that I'll have a node title here somewhere. There we go. I can grab that node title. And go paste. I can go save this. Right, so now we're going to be logging these, these messages. So let's save these changes. And let's go back to the home page. And now what I'm going to do is just add new content. So I'm just going to add a new article. And so this is a test. So test article to see if my messages are logged. Okay. I'll go ahead and save this, right? And now what I can do is I can open up uh, PHP my admin. I'm going to take a look at my database. So I can go to TWB box live, or sorry, TWB box seven, and I can go down to heartbeat messages, and we'll see a note is added. So it's recorded it, and you can see the message here, um, and that will actually be um, added in later. So now what we need to do that we know that we have the messages we need to actually create a way to see these messages. So let's go back to our site. And now um, you see Heartbeat provides streams. But what I'd like to do is actually control this through views. So what I'm going to do is going to add a new view. I'm going to call this uh, Heartbeat Activity. Heartbeat Activity is the, is the content that I've got to show of type any or all rather, right? So I can just choose specifically the type that we have. You see that that's added here. I'm going to go all. I'm going to put this on heartbeat activity. Um, it's going to be fields, and I'm going to go continue and edit. And so now we can see activity message. You, uh, your work has added the node. This is a test. And so I can actually just go in here, remove that label because I don't want to see it. And I can now save this. So now when I go to my site, heartbeat activity. I can see that I've got this message. So obviously this message isn't that pretty. Um, in the next video tutorial, I'll show you how to actually change this up. You can add the, the, the like and the comments to specific messages, but this is it. If you just wanted to know how to create your own uh, templates and you want to go ahead and do that and then create views to use them, this is all that you need. Uh, hopefully this video tutorial helped you. If it did, please leave me a comment, let me know. And if not, we will see you in the next video tutorial where we'll take this a step further uh, and kind of clean this up. Thanks very much for watching.